Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're gonna basically recreate this gift box um, present. And so we're gonna be doing the bobble and everything inside, and I wanna show you how to do that, but look at how stinking cute this is. So, all right, uh, before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I really appreciate all the support that I can get. So, <laughs> all right, um, the, one of the fun things that, so this is from the Nutcracker theme. Let me show you the other project that goes with this. So just look at this gorgeous wreath. So I have the tutorial for this, don't you worry, but it's basically a um, nutcracker with the lollipop. And so I wanted to do um, a lollipop inside a lollipop and you know wrap it up but there's sprinkles inside so that it all goes together. I think it's just so a stinking cute. So anyway, let's put this aside. Let's get started with this. So I, for this, to make one of these and to stick a stick into the bobble, you need one of these heater thingies. <laughs> I know. It's on my Amazon list. Don't worry. It's super easy to use. I have it plugged in. It's getting hot. So we're going to move, we're going to put this aside for now. But know that you need one of these things because otherwise you won't be able to stick the, um, the straw or a wooden dowel through this. Okay, let's work on the inside of this while we're waiting for that to heat up. So to put together the lollipop, this file is from Barely Art and it, it will be available soon. They're, I, I believe they're releasing it in December and it will be free. So what you need is we're doing these bows and I'm just gonna grab a little scraper because if you look at the bow, I mean, this is glitter cardstock, so it doesn't look as um, 3D-ish because the paper's kind of stiff, but you're gonna be shocked when you see this. So this is just regular 80 pound cardstock. And so on the one side, you're gonna have the, um, uh, the texture, and then on this side, it's gonna be smooth. I know you can't really see, but, so what you wanna do is on the smooth side, you want to curl it like this. You, you know, you want to, I mean, look at the difference it makes. It went from flat to curled, right? And you want to, the reason why I'm curling on the, technically the back side of this is because when I fold this over to make this bow, I want the textured side to actually be facing up. But that means that the ribbon part right here will be the smooth side. Okay, so now that we've curled this, you just want to add a little bit of your glue down. And you wanna hold this down while it is drying so that it doesn't pop up. I mean, look at that. Oh, so, see, I mean, it's cardstock. It's so amazing. Oops, I didn't let it dry and it popped up. <laughs> exactly what I told you not to do. Okay, so I'm gonna do this side and I'll be better about this side. And you just fold down. Don't worry about the glue coming out or anything like that, we will fix it in the end because this little guy will go over and will cover all of our mistakes. And it's not quite as hard to do on this bigger one that is this size. It's the little lollipop bow that goes on the inside. But look at how cute that is, right? Um, you know, I always like to do my, my presents a little extra. So, all right, here we go. So the lollipop and the nutcracker that you saw are, will be available on the Barely Art website for free for download. Um, this bow is actually in design space. It's called a double bow. And so this is what it looks like. And then you fold it up and it looks amazing. I'm doing a really bad job right now of holding it down. <laughs> okay. I might just have to skip it because it's like not working well, but now I'm gonna fold this over. And then I'm gonna put a little glue on this side and fold it completely over. I 
I've got so much glue. I did such a bad job with this one. <laughs> it's still gonna look good and I'm still gonna use it, but man, did I get glue everywhere. Okay, got it on my fingers. Okay, it's super messy looking. I'm almost wondering if I don't use this one. Where am I putting this? Oh, I'm putting it in the front. Okay, so I didn't put, what we can do is put something to cover it. Um, okay, and then I don't know if you can see the smoke coming out of this thing. Oh, you can on the video. I can see it on my screen. So this is super hot, right? What you wanna do is you wanna put this together, line it up, and then you wanna put a little hole basically right above this little guy right here because you do want it to be centered. So I'm gonna pick this up. and it's just melting it through. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down and I just wanna measure. Okay, look, it went all the way through, perfect. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn this off because this thing is so hot and, oh, you can see the smoke. Yeah, you can really see it now. I swear, I feel like I'm gonna burn myself one of these days. So I'm gonna move this aside just so that there's no chance of me accidentally. <laughs> I just feel like that's gonna happen. Okay, let's assemble. Let's see, this is looking good. I wanna put something right in the middle though. Maybe I'll put, let's see what we have. Mm. And I guess we can put a little Will it cover my blemishes? No, it needs to be bigger. I mean, I did such a horrible job with this. You can see a lot of glue, so I don't like it. We might have to do another one. All right, in the meantime, with my Barely Art glue, what I wanna do is assemble these little lollipops. So stinking cute. I love this thing, it's so Adorable. So it, I don't know if you um, noticed on the wreath, I did the nutcracker and I had the lollipop as if he's holding it, even though they're two separate files. Um, so cute. And you can see this lollipop is super thin, but with the precision tip, you're gonna be able to apply the glue and it will be all good. See, just like that. And then we're gonna do this little bow. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'll be better with my glue. I don't know what is going on with me today. I'm putting them both down and then we'll put glue and do the other two bows. So the little bow was actually easier to do, <laughs> if you can believe that. Okay, so now we're gonna put a little bit of a little, a little snowflake right there. So we're just gonna put this down. And then over here, Put a little 
little glue down because we're going to put the bow onto the lollipop. And then you just want to clean any glue strings that you have. All right, so that's one lollipop down. We got one more to do. So let's do this one. And I'm definitely going to throw this one away. I feel like I don't think I can clean up that glue. I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this one. My chance at redemption. All right, so you want to curl it up. I'm going to just give it some time because that's what I wasn't doing before is letting it dry. Okay. Nope, not dry yet. It was ready to pop up. Okay. Um, so I got the wrapping from Home Goods. I always like to buy my ribbon. I like satin ribbon and I buy it in bulk basically because it's the cheapest way to do it. So, um, and I do that online a lot of times. I don't know where I got this one, but usually I get my ribbons from ribbons and bows. Oh my, I know, <laughs> but I buy a bunch of ribbon all at one time. So that's how I usually do it. Let it dry a little bit. So stinking cute. All right, let's get a little snowflake on this one. Okay, so this one has it. Let's glue, oh, we haven't done the lollipop yet. And whenever you're using Barely Art glue or any glue, you want to give it some time, press it down, make sure that all your edges are um, basically like activated, right? So we're making sure that the glue is down. It's touching both the top and the bottom cardstock so that it is down and good. And this is all done. See how cute that is. <laughs> okay, let's put a little bit of hot glue gun on the back and glue it to our lollipop. Okay, so now that we've got this down, what we want to do is we have this little guy. So it needs to go in and we want to glue it to, we want to glue it so that this doesn't move at all. Okay, so, um, let's see. I'm gonna move it down. We're gonna glue everything into place first. So let's glue our lollipop to here. And I'm gonna put it on a foam square just so that it's not flat up against the piece. So let me get, here we go. I'm using Barely Art. Um, I'll put it on the back of this. And because I'm putting on the inside, I am going to glue this just to make sure because I don't have access to it. And I want to make sure that 
it stays in place. So I'm just gluing it all down. Okay, so we've got this piece down, right? We're going to actually glue it to the straw like this. Okay, so. my finger to the thing okay I'm gonna squeeze the straw like this okay because I'm gonna put glue up here and I'm gonna have it basically stick to the top of this um, of this bobble okay so I'm gonna put some hot glue right there I don't want this to move around it will like surprisingly oh shoot our little thing is crooked well that'll be a, that'll be our backside okay so then we're gonna glue on this side but before we do that I forgot to put in our bobbles we'll put it on the other side only okay so on this side we're gonna glue this down okay I'm just gonna glue a little bit down here Then we'll do the same thing. We're gonna put this on and we're just gonna glue it. And keep your finger on it just so that it dries in the right place. Okay, so now I'm gonna drop in some sprinkles. Because there's a little bit of a gap, it should go onto the other side. Then we're gonna close this up. And there you have a lollipop, yay. Okay, so now on this one, uh, that's done, we're going to, oh, we need to add this little guy right here, which I wanna do a different one, so let's do that one again. Okay, this one I'm gonna do neater. <laughs> Better glue. Okay. But look how pretty that is. I love it. All right, I'm gonna 
add more glue and do the bottom two. This one's so much cleaner. We'll just put it down here. Okay, so that is all done. Now we're just gonna wrap our gift. So let's move this aside. Here's our little gift. Such a pretty box. Just one second. All right, here we go. So whenever I'm wrapping, I like to crease my corners, my edges. It just looks, it just looks cleaner. for a second. I didn't give myself enough space. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. It's not going to cover. Oh my gosh, I am so bad. All right, let me get more wrapping paper. <laughs> it happens. All right, here we go. This one's going to have plenty. camera. Okay, here we go. I do like to do one side first. So even though I folded the bottom, it's not really creased the way I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna do one side at a time. just to not have 
the bulkiness because it's such a small box. I mean, even this is so pretty, right? Okay. <laughs> Let's tape this up first. Okay, so here's our box. And, sorry, I'm like itchy. Okay. We've got this down. So, and I trimmed this. So let's cut this one as well. I mean, seriously, how cute that is. Okay, I love it. All right, so let's. is always okay and then you want really sharp scissors so I have scissors specifically just to cut ribbon um, otherwise you're gonna see the shredding of the ribbon which I hate so all right let's do this we're gonna do two identical gifts so the first one I like to pull it this way get a really tight not and then on this one I still have my finger right down there I'm gonna just do this so it's super tight all right so now that I have this in place you can try to stick this through I did it through this little hole last time let's see if I can do it again I think I made it more difficult for myself hold on And I'm just going to tie it around like this. Not this one through, and it should stay in place. I'll tie it in the back. And then we want to fold it up in half, cut it at an angle. Oh, I cut it the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I cut it the opposite way. I'm just bungling this. Maybe I'll do this. Two separate ones. Oh my gosh, that looks horrible. <laughs> of course, on camera. Of course. Gosh, that's so bad. How do I fix it? I don't think I can, um, but I will <laughs> to make sure it doesn't fray. I will do this. Get on this. 
this side and actually that helped. Looks horrible. I did not like how I did that ribbon. <laughs> I think I'm gonna undo it, but it will be really hard to undo it. I'm gonna. Did not like that. Did not like that. Okay. Undoing it. It happens. <laughs> okay. starting over that was horrible all right let's do this again I want to make sure I give myself enough ribbon right tying it okay here we go do the same thing I'm still gonna do a knot pull it this way make sure it's tight I always put my ring finger down I don't know why it's the one because I need all my other fingers to tie it <laughs> so I have a nice tight knot okay I'm gonna try to do this again see if I can do it without breaking my Okay, so this time, let's make sure that I am cutting it the right way. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it this way, and if I cut it like that, yes, okay. So I'm gonna fold it like this. Cut it like this. Fold it like this. <laughs> and cut it like this. There we go, that looks so much better. Okay, I am still going to make sure that nothing happens to this ribbon. much happier with the ribbon. All right. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned a lot and let me know comments, questions below, special requests, all that good stuff. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.